Let's take a closer look at the queued state machine release state. This state releases the front panel action buttons at the end of a task. Let's look at the state itself, QSM release. We see a single instance of an invoke node that's connected to or linked to the action buttons. The invoke node is located right here. You'll see that it's referring to the front panel action buttons. You would say link to and then pane and then the action buttons. You can either pick all of them or you can just pick one of them. As it stands, it applies this action to all. The method that's being selected here is reinitialize to default. This has the effect then of essentially unsticking or uh, unpressing a button that has been pressed. Now let's think through how this works. When you click save image when the application is running, when you are in the scheduler state, the action button would read true. That means you'd be selecting the task up here that says do this task, which is save image first Save image has a collection of activities that show up in this subdiagram. However, this state does nothing about the front panel button itself. This button would still be pressed. That means then the task invokes as its last step QSM release state. That unsticks the button, so to speak. And that way when the task completes, when we come back to the scheduler state, save image is now unpressed and that it does not trigger the upper task, but instead allows the default task to get enqueued.